Hi guys, I'm Kelly Harris from KDS Keltec. I have Russ from Midlands Car Care here. We're going to run through a demo range of some of the late country pads. So, um, yeah. do you remember Russ, we come down eight years ago? It was eight years ago, wasn't it, on the training? Eight years, years, yeah. So obviously in that training, that was obviously a long time ago. And we didn't have a 15mm machine available. I want to call it 15mm, no. the Yorby, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so you would have been rotary only. Like yeah, so like yeah, eight mil DA and rotary. Yeah, that was it, that's yeah. all we had was just yeah. a, a rotary machine or a, an eight mil orbit machine. And that would, could be the Daz 6 I got there, the Meguiars, it was Chinese knockoffs. It was yeah, I think other. I imported one of the American, the Porter Cables. Porter Cables, yeah. As well, so a big SJ, yeah, 110 he, volt. He gave me a Porter Cable. So obviously we know that that does an eight mil orbit. Yes. And the only thing that ever happened to these machines, they got lighter, more ergonomics, mm. Prettier looking, a bit more powerful, yeah, bit more then they powerful. got a so, bigger motor, so like that, yes, so, sort of nicer look to it, it's nicer feel, but essentially it was still an 8mm orbit. So, whatever happened, it was an 8mm orbit. And if you had a newer version, the version 2, like you said, that one was version 2, when you pushed down, it didn't stall so much, correct? That was the idea, I remember, it didn't stall, yes. Yeah. yes, but we was really limited, we had really heavy carp rotary and then the finest finishing machines, these. yes, yes. And if you remember, it was uh, it was actually eight years ago, wasn't it, on the training with we, you think, brought the Maguire's microfiber pads down. Yeah, I think they'd just come out that yeah, year. Yeah, you brought them down to I'd, me. Yeah, I'd bought the first batch that went into a retailer. And I, I'm sure you remember, on your thread, it shows that we was experimenting. With the removal rate. Yeah, and yeah. we was quite shocked when you put the microfiber Maguire's cutting system on an 8mm orbit machine, which happened, oh, happened to be their 8mm machine. Yes. Their 8mm <laughs> machine. We was quite surprised how much cut it had, didn't it? Yeah. And that was the first time me and you had actually been dabbled with microfiber pads when they first come out. And obviously they're very, very popular now. Yes, uh, but So we only had a choice of putting different pads on and compound onto a rotary or a DA. Correct, yeah. And there was no numbers, was it? Yeah. And obviously we can jump forward now to where we are now, near the end of 2019. We have 8 mil, 12 mil, 15 mil, 21. 21 mil, yeah. Most popular. In, what would you, actually, what would you say? What would you say in England is the most popular size throw now? Probably the 15 yeah, mil. I'd agree. Yeah. It's what we use all day long. Yeah, I find a 21 mil, it's a bit, the orbit's a bit too big. Yeah. Curved panel, it, yeah. it can be so tricky. So what you're trying to suggest there is when you go up to an edge, when you've got this big orbit yeah. and you're trying to go over edge, it's, it's a lot of throw, there's a lot of throw, a lot of counterbalance weight happening so it's yeah, vibrating. It feels less controlled. Yeah, so I think the 15 mil is a happy medium. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do, you asked me earlier, and you've come down, obviously, you travel a long distance, because of the traffic, five hours. Indeed. Which is, uh, welcome to England, south of England, <laughs> not where you're from. <laughs> you said to me earlier, what's the difference between a HDO pad and an SDO pad? SDO pad, yes. Uh, and I was like, okay, let's like, run for it. So what we've got here, I've actually helped demonstrate this. I've got an SDO pad. Okay, yeah. I've yep. got a HDO pad. And I've got a, actually it's called a force pad, but it, okay. I've put this one here to help demonstrate and describe the differences. So what we've got, let's start with the STO, and it's quite well written in this catalog. It explains yeah. well what an STO pad is. So okay. the idea of an STO pad, standard duty orbit pad. So it's like, duty orbit. Okay. So it's for the eight mil machines down here. The idea is ideally it's for the eight mil machines. It would work on another machine. Now, why have we, or why has Lake Country now brought out a HDO or heavy duty or high orbit? You want to call it? It's mm -hmm. called heavy duty. Mm -hmm. So let me pick this pad up. If we had this on a 15 mil machine like this, and it's doing a 15 mil orbit, what you actually get is this rock. So it rocks a lot on the face. Okay. Because it's a very large foam, and obviously it's quite a soft foam. Yes. So you get 15 mil here. You're not going to get 15 mil on the face because you're getting some flex in the foam. And if you think of the foam as it's rocking, and it's actually getting hot. So the foam is warming up through its own internal friction. Okay, it's rubbing yes. itself, yeah. like getting clothed together with your hands. <coughs> of course, makes sense. So yeah. It's all flexing. Yes. So we've just said that an 8mm machine didn't have enough cut, but 15s did. Yes. You imagine if they made a microfiber pad that happened to be like an inch and a half thick. What would happen is the cut level of that pad would reduce because you're not getting 15mm circles. Which is why they're thin. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're, okay. Getting, you're yeah. getting less movement yes. or less of an orbit. So instead of being 15, it might be a 12, it might be yeah, a 10. 10. Yeah. And obviously, as you get to a finishing pad and it's a softer pad, it flexes more. Okay. So this is actually in our range called a force pad. It's, yes. it's a, a pad that can be used on every type of machine. 
and it helps me demonstrate that that pad will rock as it's doing the orbit and it's going to flop around and as these pads warm up we know they get softer yes. as they have liquid in their compounds they get softer again it starts flopping quite a lot mm -hmm. so you're actually reducing the cut on that face that might be to a plus point to professionals that really, really know the, uh, ma the art, they're a master of They understand what the yeah. foam is doing, but okay. more importantly, <clears throat> what we've got is, you've got the SDO pad, if you look there, is actually, do it there, is actually got more black foam than the HDO. Mm -hmm. So I've just measured these on the paint weighing scales, that's 23 grams, that's 31 grams. So as the catalogue says, this is a slightly heavier pad, and this interface pad is very, very dense. So there's actually less material of black there compared to there. So that's going to flex very little, if any. That's going to flex more side to side. Fine. So you get the or so, nearer so to the full. You're getting the full cut. Fifteen so the mil. The idea is, if it's on a twenty-one mil or a fifteen mil, you're going to get the full the cut. Full the full cut. Okay. Now that doesn't mean you can't use this on an eight mil. Yes. And likewise, you could use this on a fifteen, but you've got. But to it's not as effective as it no. could be. If, yeah. And also, the foam's going to generate more heat. It's going to wear. It could, it could tear down, it, just, it disintegrates in the end. You see okay. pads when people have polished with the wrong pad choice and they push really hard. Yes, it opens yes, the pad. yes. It, it falls everyone's apart. made that mistake, yeah. So, next thing, this, uh, so what's happened here, the idea of this thick interface pad, the heat generated on this face doesn't transfer into the backing plate on the machine, and vice versa. The machine okay. heat, if you've been using the machine all day, as it goes through, it stops as a barrier. So there's a slight control there in the heat dissipation, then obviously the centre hole, with the centre hole now it's for alignment and cooling, as you said. Yeah. You asked me earlier, yeah, so let's wait. Hole. Yeah. So does that make okay. sense? Absolute that, sense, yeah. 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 So I don't know, I can ask you this question, do you know of another manufacturer at the moment that actually makes dedicated specific pads like that? Not for specific throws, no. no. And if they do, or it, it's implied they do, then I've not seen one with an interface no. pad. All I've seen is uh, like, an inch thick or a half inch thick. Yeah. But it's, it's the same foam, so it's like those. Exactly. So this is a new thing for, really for what Lake Country's done, yeah. that that's what you'd have a choice in many other brands before, and I can get why they do different things, mm -hmm. but they've actually really thought out the box here and actually gone, no, actually, it makes more sense to have Have that. the interface. There is another little bit as well, this is heavier, and the idea of the higher orbit is to keep it rotating and spinning. Yes. Because it's a centrifugal site force, it's a, it's, it's, it helps the counterbalance weight. If you put a thin piece of sandpaper on that, and it hasn't got the correct weight of the pad, it's going to put some more vibrations in that machine. Oh, of course it will. There might be a very slight premature wear, more importantly it's the ergonomics. As you're polishing, you get vibration on your hands. Yeah. Yeah. So you're trying to match the weight of the pad to whatever this tall recommendation of the pad. Yes. By having an interface pad, you can alter the weight of this without changing the characteristics of that to give the best cut. So... It's okay. good to see how it's thought has gone into that, yeah, makes that design. Yeah, yeah absolutely, makes, yeah. Makes absolute sense. So, as you said, you asked me, we were swapping messages on the phone. It was a little bit confusing because other manufacturers aren't offering this many options. Yes. Now, it makes more it, sense. Absolute yeah, sense, it's yeah. It's logical. So, what we've got, I've got the SDO and the HDO, sort of a perfect one-step pad in America. Okay, so it's a medium cut yeah, pad. So bang, okay. bang in the middle. So we've always been taught, and everyone's always said, if you don't know what you're doing polishing, and you want to do a yeah. test patch, you start Start with, in the middle. Yeah, yeah, in the middle. So there's a medium cut pad. Okay. So we've got the HDO, which is obviously, the, there's yep. the finishing one, and we've got the STO. So what we're going to do, we're going to stick with the HDO, because we okay. want, if we're going to use a 15 mil machine, 15 mil machine, we yeah. want to make it 15 mil on the face. We've set up a couple of little areas here. We're going to use like a medium cut compound. Okay. We've got, I've got a choice for you if you want. You can go with, I think we should go with Menzerna, like a PF 2300. We can even try Meguiar's 205, which is more of a finishing cut. Hmm. But let's go with a medium cut compound. We've got that pad on a 15 mil machine, a different brand. Okay, yeah. This happens to be a different brand machine over there set up. And we'll do a little square. We'll move out of the way so Jay can get past it. We can see some holograms and swirl. There's, there's more, there's a little bit faint holograms, but there's more wash swirling on there. Yeah, it's wash defects, yeah, warm up. Yeah. So the machine, as I said, will be, the repairs, 15 mil orbit. So it's 15 mil, so it's 15 mil there. We'll go for sort of a Menzerna, middle, medium cut compound. And just put a few blobs on. 
and then we can unmask it and have a look. So the pad's already primed. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good enough. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to do a little small one. So, probably do. Too long, just do a quick bit. Board shower, like a one step. Quick, yeah. quick okay. Now, if not polishing this wing, it might need more. I'm just going to go with a very light pressure, light speed. A person that's got limited knowledge to do. Gentle, light, me, I'm yeah. very low speed. Yeah, I'm going a very cautious. It's quite way. low risk as well. Yeah. yeah. I'm going very cautious. It's just really to see with a sort of test run what it's all achieved. Yeah. But it makes more sense to do a test run if you want to put one out for free. Yeah. You haven't got one of these toys, have you? No, I need one. Yeah, or two or three. Yeah. There you go, thank you. Um, so, what I do, I'll pull the tape off and then I'm going to be really careful and wipe that. And what we're going to do, we get the light. So, I can see there's an improvement already. So, thank you, Russ. Let's get grip light. So we've got swirly holograms there, which yep. hopefully Jay's capturing perfectly. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then you can see the correction. There is some slightly deeper marks. One more pass with but, that would fix them, but we're looking for... But for a medium yeah. polish, yeah. medium pad, that's... Yeah, it's a great improvement. That's impressive. Yeah, so what we can do, we can IPA it, so we get some... So there should be an IPA bottle there with a the cloth. Yeah. Do that. You can obviously, there could be fillers in compounds left behind. I'll wipe that down. I'm going to check it again. Thank you, Ross. So, yeah, you can see there's, there's still, there's not that horrible, horrible hologram finish. That's a, a great enhancement. And now I know that works, I could have worked that a little bit longer. Yeah. Got a tiny bit more speed, okay, pressure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and get a better correction rate. We were talking about the, um, the old Mark Club pads you used years ago. Yes. So, with the HGO, the slightly different, I'll open this one up in, in the HGO range, is what we've got here, which is different to the foam. That they've, and I quite like this, as you know, most microfold pads are either heavily tapered, we won't name brands, no. or square, <laughs> completely yes. square. Now, I, my preference is this, and so is Jay's. His preference is we like this because obviously we can get up to an edge, and it means that when we've got that on the backing plate, this edge is st sticking out further, further than the backing, than the backing plate. plate. So that means that it gives us a couple of mil barrier where you could accidentally nudge a part of the car. Yeah. When it's a straight edge, it's a slight more compromise if mm. you're trying to get in the tricky areas. It does depend on one machine to another because different backing plates are obviously completely different. Um, but then, you know, backing plate here is, is very, very different. It's actually smaller, so then mm -hmm. that's tapered. I like the fact this carries on so I can work up to an edge. So my preference is if it did no more cutting, which it does, it's slightly more aggressive we found them to be a lot more durable, and that's not just me, that's all my staff that have used those pads. We found, because you asked me earlier about washing them, or blowing them. Yeah, the, the and best way and at what about, point they lose their effectiveness. You said something about disintegrating or falling, what was it you said to me about, the, not these pads, but other no, pads you've so used? No, so other brands of the, these kinds of pads, they yeah. delaminate right, so okay. yeah, the, the, the Velcro's yeah, come off. I've not had that problem. issue with... Yeah. And I've not had one of them do that yet, so we've, okay. we've really, They've been more durable, probably 20% yep. more durable, which means we're using them longer, and they've never disintegrated, they've never delaminated, and we're using them exactly the same way, so it's a preference we like. Cool. The fact you've got the hole in the middle for cooling, this tapered edge there, um, there's so many plus points, the fact that they last longer, so it, essentially you're going to buy less pads yes. as well, so yeah, so hopefully that makes sense. It's, um, mm. So yeah, so in the range of the HDO, you can see you've got a, a great range there of if I did it in order, obviously, to take them all away, you've got, you've got your cutting, heavy okay. cutting, and you've got a heavy polishing, sort of cutting, but foam, if someone likes foam, you've got a medium, and then you're finishing. There is actually an orange microfiber in there as well. Sorry, I'm on STO. Let's get to the HDO section on the pads. So, so there is a, a slightly less cut. Yeah. So it fits yeah. here, I presume. Yeah, yeah. it's Good. a one-step. Um, so there's more. There's actually that one as well, which we've not gone through today because... Okay, so that, that, that would have given us slightly more cut than the, the foam? Yes. Orange. Yes. Okay. So yeah, so really, and there's a nice chart at the back of the catalogue, if I move these out of the way, there's a great chart at the okay. back. And it is uh, amazing what they've done, but also, I'm, I am, you can see it oh, really wow, easy okay. here, that actually, 
that HGO one step pad is very close to these. But yeah, there's, um, and if you go into the foam. It's actually got more cut than the blue yes. foam. Okay. Yes. Yep. HGO, so HGO it would go blue. there. It'll there we go, go there. there. Okay. There's a, a one step. Um, it's not gonna, you're gonna, you know, you get micromarin. Micro that's gonna yeah. finish down better. So it's preference, isn't it? But obviously my role is, and that's why you're here, and, and the way other people, a friend of mine, John's run me up, asking me questions about these, is to now start doing videos, explaining. Explaining yeah. how to get the best yeah. out of the range. Otherwise, okay. you don't have to, one have to drive five hours down here and then five no. hours back, just go, <laughs> what pad does what? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be easier to wash a video and, and stop it ringing me. Yes, no, ah, joke. that's all right. <laughs> He's but gonna block me one day, I yeah. Yeah. No way. But anyway, that was a quick little video with Russell Millen's Car Care. Genuinely, just contacted me a oh, week, two weeks ago about coming down, about two weeks talked ago, about yeah. his pads. I, did I say, or was it you that said about the eight, the eight years to date? It was weird, we was talking about it. Yeah, and I think it's you. Yeah, not, and I've gone, hang on, like when, when did you come? Because obviously you was my first well, ever pupil. Day. Yeah. Which is, is actually eight years ago, isn't it? Yeah. First ever to pupil to day. come here. Yeah. yeah, so that's a really weird, freak, spooky thing. Still going, still successful. Yeah. yeah. How, many, how many cars do you think you've polished now? No idea. No <laughs> it's idea. It's got to be a lot, it's isn't a lot. <laughs> What, a full week? Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot over a long, long period yeah. of time, isn't it? But anyway, so I'm Kelly Harris from Kelly S. Celtic. Thank you for watching. This is Russ from Millions Car Care. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Goodbye.